Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car! It's going so fast! Huh? You're right, the Blippy Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm, I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo! We can go to the racetrack and find out! I'm gonna need race car tires! Race car tires confirmed. Activate Blippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi! Are you here to try out the racetrack? Hey! It's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi! I'm Ricardo! Let me show you on the track! Let's race! All right! Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain! Do your thing! You can do it, Debo! Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Holy smokes, a volcano. That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder what makes a volcano erupt. Great idea. We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go through side vent into the volcano. Whoa, whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here. Whoa! 
Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats. <laughs> Below us, deep in the earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava. Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Mmm, yum! These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling! Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Debo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? No, oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta da! Wow. Yes, sir. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it. Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi-mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some! Don't mind if I do. Here goes! Whoa! I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess. Oh, oh the glue has a stuck in place. That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist. The fly leg twist? That's right. Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk like this. Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. 
Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. Right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm. I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea! Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinky Day! Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippy and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build a nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud, and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. Uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again! Oh, oh thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build! First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it! The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. To the Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we're in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! <laughs> wow! What a spectacular <laughs> jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi Rooney, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, <laughs> Rooney's hopping pretty high <gasps> and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. 
We call it Uluru or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> and the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! To Big Blippy Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa! This spider web looks amazing! You're right, Debo! Spider webs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour, I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs! Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back! Blippi, you can be my holder and tester! My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle! What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach! To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Blippi? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it. Bounce against it. See if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. <laughs> I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then.
Do you love it too, Debo? <laughs> oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Flippy! And this is Debo! Hi, Flippy! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. No. no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa, Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest! <coughs> You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye. The giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house. The juiciest shoots are at the top. Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey. Hi, Fred! Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. 
That's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream. Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice dog just there. Whoa! Little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no! I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa! There's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder. What planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! Right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to Outer Space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. <laughs> Whoa! That is hot! We should go! The third planet is your home, Earth! Hi, Mom! Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust! Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings! Whoa! They look beautiful! Can we get closer? Of course! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! Wait! We haven't finished yet! On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoopee. Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Tune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Look at that snowflake! Whoa! Whoa! I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? 
Um, you're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I'm me. Welcome to my cloud. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here. Yeah. Go catch, Devo. <laughs> now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. And I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mimi. Bye, Blip.